This is a podcast of the Nuffield Department of Medicine. We asked Sarah Dixon Clark about her experiences as a graduate student at the University of Oxford. Hello, Sarah. Hi. Why did you decide to study for a DPhil? Um, so I um, studied for my BSc um, in chemistry at the University of St Andrews, um, and I'd always really enjoyed my subject. And during my time there, um, I gained a BBSR summer studentship to do some research in the lab. Um, and then I also undertook a lab-based research dissertation project. Um, and I think these experiences really just confirmed um, that I wanted to continue a career in academic research and a DPhil was the next stage for this. Can you tell us about your research? Yes, yeah, so um, my DPhil is at the Structural Genomics Consortium, um, part of the NDM. Um, and the aim of my project is to look at the extended family of cyclin-dependent kinases, to look at their structure and function, um, mainly utilising X-ray crystallography. Um, so cyclin-dependent kinases are protein kinases, um, which form a complex with a cyclin binding partner, um, and they're responsible for phosphorylating and regulating other proteins. Um, so the most well-known members of these family are involved in um, phosphorylating key cell cycle regulators, um, and they're also known to have roles in transcription. Um, but there's some members of this family are kind of, their structure and function is less well defined, um, and they could also have potentially equally important roles. Um, so my project has been looking at the extended family of cyclin-dependent kinases. Um, and more recently, the focus has been on cyclin-dependent kinase 12 um, and that complex because it's shown to be, um, it seems to have a role in transcription, but it's also um, shown to be important for the expression of um, various DNA damage response genes. And it also has been implicated in various forms of cancer, so um, breast and ovarian cancer. And um, so we recently, I recently determined the structure at the SGC um, and this has given us some insight into its regulation um, and it's also brought a great opportunity to collaborate um, to look at its activity and also more now we can look at the drugability of this target and, and we're collaborating with some people on this which I think is really exciting. So, yeah. What made you interested in your particular field of research? Um, so I think I had um, a relatively diverse um, background of research experience. Um, I'd done a project in enzymology and virology, but I think underlying these was a general interest in protein function. Um, and during my degree, um, I uh, attended various courses, which gave me some insight into aspects of structural biology and their importance, um, and in particular the utility of X-ray crystallography um, and its value in determining protein function and regulation. Um, so I was really keen to use this um, within my DPhil. Um, to learn more about this and gain training in this technique. Um, and this project and the department just really appealed to me, I think. Um, I think they have extensive experience in X-ray crystallography at the SGC, um, as well as other techniques I'd be able to gain experience in aspects of molecular biology and other biophysical techniques, as well as having quite a diverse uh, group members and extensive collaborations in both industry and academia um, yeah, that offered other opportunities for different skill sets. Why did you apply to Oxford? Um, I think Oxford is such a prestigious university with an incredible reputation and um, it's renowned for its excellence in research, um, particularly across the NDM. Um, so I knew I'd um, be able to get an excellent training, those brilliant facilities. Um, I think what was really um, great as well was that the NDM studentship offers four years on one project which is um, relatively uncommon I think to focus on one area of research um, and I think Oxford is such a beautiful city to live in um, and I was really interested to be part of one of the colleges um, that are so famous to us. What has surprised you about Oxford? Uh, I think uh, before I arrived I almost had a preconception um, because Oxford has such an incredible reputation I was worried that I'd kind of be intimidated when I arrived um, but actually when I got here I found it's just within college and within my department it's just a very supportive friendly environment and there's so much going on there's something for everyone. Um, I think I was particularly impressed um, when I joined college I became a peer supporter so I was part like aware of the welfare system within college and the university and I'm just impressed at how much is available for you should you need it. Um, so yeah I think that just it's just an incredibly supportive and friendly environment I found um, at, yeah both at work and in college. What are the best things about studying here? Um, I think there's a lot of things I've really 
enjoyed uh, in Oxford. I think within my department there's so many great opportunities, there's always lectures and speakers, um, there's courses we can attend and then there's been funding for me to go to various conferences um, and courses externally as well which has been incredibly helpful um, and I think also one of the best things. Um, so I'm a member of University College and I'm really very fond of it. I think I don't think I appreciated before I arrived what a big part it would play in my life. Um, so it forms you know, a big part of your social life. I lived in college as well, for example, and I got involved in things I never imagined I would do, like rowing, for example. I didn't think I'd take to that. And then there's always so much going on. There's so many people you meet from diverse backgrounds and from different subjects. Um, yeah, and I really think there's clubs and societies for everyone and formal halls, dinners, just everything about it, I think, is really lucky to be able to be part of it. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you.